A Milwaukee Lutheran church was a victim of theft after a Fox 12's most wanted individual stole its clothing trailer used to deliver necessities to homeless communities in our area. That's right. Fox 12 Spencer Thomas joins us now live in Milwaukee where this happened, telling us much more about this story. Spencer. Yeah, that's right, Bonnie and Pete. We're actually standing in the parking lot near Milwaukee Lutheran Church where that clothing trailer once sat. We spoke with one lead volunteer who said it was locked up, filled to the brim, ready to deliver clothing to vulnerable communities. And about four to six hours later, it was gone. The church really came together and, and, and put a lot of time and energy into this project. And it's really heartbreaking that someone would do that. Between 3.30 p.m. and 9 o'clock p.m. on November 21st, this trailer, also known as the Milwaukee Lutheran Church Mobile Clothing Closet, was stolen. At first I thought it was a joke. Like, we're a church. Who does that to a church? I circled the church twice, hoping that maybe someone moved it. <laughs> like, and I was just mistaken. And... It was pretty, it was pretty traumatizing. It was pretty devastating. An emotional moment for Stephanie Hollingshead, community outreach coordinator at Milwaukee Lutheran Church, and the woman who spearheaded the program on wheels that helps deliver clothing and other necessities to locals who need it most. It's a big enclosed trailer. We built clothing racks in it so we can hang um, all different sizes and jeans and hoodies and whatever we needed and store blankets and tarps and tents and hygiene supplies and first aid supplies. The mobile closet serves over 200 houseless people weekly. Yesterday, Stephanie, along with a few volunteers, loaded the trailer up to get ready for the holiday rush when the unthinkable happened. We have events coming up, so we, we stuffed it. It is so full. We put new hoodies, new jeans, blankets, tents, sleeping bags, backpacks. We filled it to the brim. We reorganized. We had it all ready to go. I literally left the trailer at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Some of the volunteers that were here working with us, we even looked. We were like, oh, 3 o'clock, we're good. Left for about six hours. We came back through at 9 o'clock to do just lock up and make sure everything was secured for the night, and it was gone. Thousands of donated items stolen along with the trailer. It's a really detrimental time for it to be gone because this is the time where we can keep everything housed and dry. We can give people a second to come out of the rain for a minute and find something dry and warm to get back out. And Stephanie says they'll stop at nothing to continue their mission, trailer or not. And if you had one message to the person or people who did take the trailer, what would that message to them be? I'm not mad at them. They're in their own rough spot. They're in their own time of needing or or wherever they are in their life. Everyone has their own story. I preach that every day. We we help people that are in the darkest times of their life right now. So I have no judgment for anybody. I just I hope they find whatever they need in life and I hope that better choices can be made in the future. Now the church is working with the Milwaukee Police Department to figure out what steps need to be taken to get to the bottom of this. But in the meantime, if you're willing to lend a helping hand, the church is accepting donations of sweatshirts, pants, coats, anything you could possibly want or need. Please donate it. We'll have a link to that on our website at kptv.com. Live here in Milwaukee, Spencer Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.